Hi. Did my nurse get you all settled in? Great. So, I'm looking at my notes from the front desk. They just got off the phone with your insurance company, and it looks like they approved everything. Uh, your advocate at the insurance included a message that says you have open approval for any additional testing, uh, money is no object, we should put all our best doctors on your case until we have figured out and addressed everything. Okay. Uh, front desk also confirmed that you have no deductible, no copay, and uh, just in case you weren't aware, we do have our own in-house uh, pharmacy here, so most basic prescriptions you should be able to pick up just on your way out today. Um, if you prescribed anything with a longer processing time, it looks like, yes, your insurance did approve coverage for our delivery service. Um, we do daily deliveries right to patients' front doors. Maximum turnaround time of 24 hours, but we can usually get it to you same day, okay? So, uh, let's see. Today is going to be a pretty basic medical exam, just to get you into our system. Uh, I have your paperwork here from when you spoke with the nurse. Let me double check. That's everything. Uh, she wrote down all your symptoms and concerns. Later today, she and I will sit down with our team here. We're going to make sure that you are matched to the perfect specialists for all your issues. Uh, then sometime tomorrow, our office medical concierge will be in touch, um, and they'll coordinate all those appointments for you, all right? Okay, so do we have... We have your best availability for contact recorded here. Okay, yes. Great. And they will reach out either by phone call, a text, email, or a private messaging system, whichever you indicated was your preference. We'll get you that way. Um, all right. I think that's it. Going to be getting in there, doing the exam. It's going to involve a fair amount of touching, poking, prodding. Uh, but that's what we need to do to get started. Is that okay? Okay, great. So, I'm going to put this down for a moment. I'm going to get my gloves on. And we'll get started in just a moment. Thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. Hey y'all, it's JB. I spent a lot of my 20s and 30s thinking of sleep as something that's, like, nice if you can get it. But... In recent years, I've developed a real awareness of how foundational sleep is to everything else in my life. If I'm not getting enough sleep, everything else in my life is more difficult. It's as simple as that. So that's why I was super excited to try out a beautiful new mattress from Helix. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and are conveniently shipped right to your door. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including their award-winning Lux and Ultra Premium Elite collections, the Helix Plus, a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, and the Helix Kids mattress, designed for growing bodies and endorsed by medical experts. Everybody sleeps differently, and Helix knows that. So they make choosing the right mattress easy with their sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. I personally am a side sleeper who prefers a medium mattress, not too soft not too firm, and I was matched with the Helix Midnight Lux. I've had it for a few weeks now, and it's perfect for me. I love it. And Helix makes things super convenient for you by delivering your mattress right to your door with free shipping in the U.S. It comes rolled up in a box, and getting it set up is really simple. If you're unsure about buying a mattress that you haven't tried out, Helix has a 100-night sleep trial, so that's more than three months to make sure that you love it. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10-year warranty, and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans, so a great night's sleep is never far away. 
I love my Helix mattress, and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep. You can click on the link below, go to helixsleep.com slash jellybeangreen to get 20% off your Helix mattress, plus two free pillows. Thank you again to Helix for sponsoring this video. We're ready to get started. Just to give you a heads up, I'm going to be taking copious notes during this whole process. Uh, we used to do things just typing them into the system, but we find out that writing detailed notes, we can get more nuance and detail recorded. Um, but don't worry about the old-fashioned appearance of the handwritten notes. We will be getting it all into our computer system later on today. Okay, so let me just get started with your notes. Okay, we're going to start with taking your temperature real quick. Start on this side, and then I like to get the other side as well, just to make sure. So I'm going to be taking this right here, placing the tip of the thermometer into your ear and you're gonna hear a little beep okay all right you're gonna get in real close here place the tip of the thermometer into your ear and good Beautiful. Let me write that down real quick. Thanks. Okay, let's get the other side. All right. Placing thermometer in your ear. Beautiful. All right. So, good news. Your ears are temperature twins. That's what we like to see. Let me go ahead and record that real quick right here. Check. Okay. Now. Okay. Next, I'm just going to be taking your pulse. I like to do it right up here. So I'm going to gently take these two fingers, place them against your neck, right here, very gently. Okay, there we go. Okay, just going to be listening for about 20 seconds, and I'll do a little math. One moment. Okay, check my clock here. Grab my stethoscope. All right, I'm sure you've seen one of these before. It's a blood pressure cuff. I'm gonna be wrapping it around your arm. It's gonna be a little snug. I'm gonna inflate it with air. It should feel pretty firm on your arm, like a firm squeeze. Uh, it shouldn't be too uncomfortable. It should not be painful at all. So if it feels like it's too tight, please let me know. But I'm going to wrap it around your arm, inflate it, take a little listen, and then I'm going to deflate it. I'm going to write down what I hear, okay? Great. So, I'm just going to take your arm here, and let's go ahead and 
wrap this around your upper arm. Good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and inflate it now. Again, it's gonna give you a pretty good squeeze, but it shouldn't hurt. So let's get started. Okay, and I'm listening for... There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and deflate it now, keep listening. And there we go. Beautiful. I'm gonna remove the cuff now. Alright, let me go ahead and write those numbers down. Okay, so stethoscope aside. Let's go ahead get a good listen to your lungs and heart. I'm going to take this. I'll warm it up a little bit first. I'm going to place it on your chest. I'm going to instruct you to take some deep breaths, as deep as is comfortable. Move it around a few times. I'll move around the back. Do the same on your back. And then we'll move it. Okay? So, just gonna loosen up your gown here in the front. Okay. Let's go ahead and warm this up for you so it's not cold. There we go. That should feel nice. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on your chest right here. Okay. Okay. Just breathe normally for a moment. Have you been having any concerns lately with your breathing or... Okay. Any coughing, congestion, anything like that? Okay. Could you please go ahead and take a nice deep breath for me all the way down into your belly. Go in. And out. Good. Okay, I'm going to move this to a different spot right here. Nice deep breath in, out, good, bring it over here, nice deep breath in, out, beautiful, one more, deep breath in, and out, Very nice. Okay, you can go ahead and breathe normally. I'm just going to sneak around the back here. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze in here behind you. Okay. And I'm just going to loosen up your gown in the back this time. So I'm just going to pull that. Open a little bit. Okay. Still should be nice and warm here. I'm going to go ahead and place it on your back right here. Deep breath in, please. Out. Good. Okay. I'm going to move it over here. Deep breath in. Good. Okay. Alright. 
perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. Just over here. Alright, beautiful. You know the drill now. I'm gonna take some more notes. See, take some notes about well. Next, I'm going to take this light right here. I'm just going to take a real quick look around, looking up your nostrils briefly and into your mouth. I'm going to look in your nose first. Um, if you can please tilt your head up a little bit. I'm going to place my hand on your chin right here just to kind of stabilize your face. Okay, I'm going to get real close here and just kind of peek up on your lips. open your mouth for me. Let's go ahead and relax your jaw a little bit. Can you give me a great big yawn? Just a... <sighs> Good. Okay. Now, go ahead and open your mouth. Just let your jaw relax and hang open. Stick out your tongue. Just let it kind of hang out and say, ah. Good. Okay. I'm just going to take a little look around. Keeping your chin down a little bit. Yes. Just like that. Okay. Have you had your tonsils out? Okay. There we go. Yeah, I see. Okay. Any issues lately with sore throat, post-nasal drip, anything like that? You can close your mouth and tell me. Okay. Alright. Let me just take a few notes. Alright, I'm going to do a quick lymph node check. I'm going to be taking my fingers and I'm going to be gently sort of palpating and probing your lymph nodes around your neck right here and here. You have lymph nodes all over your body. I'm just going to be checking a few spots here and here. I'm going to be checking the ones in the armpits. I'll be very careful not to tickle you, I promise. And then there are a couple at the back of your skull that I like to check as well, just at the base here, at the top of your neck area. Okay? So, I'm going to begin right here. Right here, you're going to feel my fingers. Just sort of... Gently palpating. Massaging. that hurt at all? Is it uncomfortable? Okay. I thought so, I just... Okay. Okay. 
to get the ones in your armpits real quick. If you can just gently lift your arms a little bit. I'm gonna get in there, I'll make it quick. Just okay. I know it can be a little ticklish, but is that sore at all? Like too much pressure. Okay. Thank you. You can put your arms down. I'm gonna get the back of your head now. I'm gonna reach right around on the side and kind of Right side. Beautiful. Okay, moving on. Okay, just a quick face exam. Gonna be your face. It's okay if I adjust your head just a little bit. Just want to kind of... There we go. Okay. So if you can just look straight ahead right at me. Good. Tilt your chin up. Just a little bit. Good. And down. Okay. Turn your head this way. Just a little. Good. Other way. Beautiful. Okay. Straight ahead again. Looking for signs of significant asymmetry. We all have asymmetrical faces, that's very normal. Just looking for anything that might indicate any neuromuscular concerns or anything like that. Okay. Have you been feeling any weakness in your face, anything like that? Run my fingers here. Can you feel that? Good. Okay, down the side of your face. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of bop the tip of your nose here. Can you feel that? Good. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of feel along your jawline here. Good. Okay. to check here. going to be bossing you around a little bit now, <laughs> okay? So, I'm going to be giving you some instructions, things to do with your face. We'll just go one at a time. It's going to be pretty easy, okay? So, can you go ahead and look straight ahead at me again? I'm just going to... Okay. Can you go ahead and 
Raise your eyebrows up for me like you're super surprised, just as high as you can. Okay, relax them. One more time, lifting them up. Okay, relax. Just check that off. Okay. So next, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do before we do it. I'm going to ask you to squeeze your eyes shut. Squeeze those eyelids shut, not yet, in a moment. I'm going to place my fingers gently on your eyes. I'm going to firmly, but gently, try to open your eyes. And I just want you to resist. Try and keep your eyes closed, okay? Go ahead and close your eyes. Good. I'm going to put my hands right here, and I'm going to try and open, open, squeeze your eyes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Beautiful. Go ahead and smile for me. Great. Big smile. Super happy. Good. Okay. Great big frown. Just... Okay. Can you puff out your cheeks for me real big? Just... Good. Great. Go ahead and relax. We're going to do uh, some sensory tests now. You have um, different type of sensory receptors in your skin that feel different types of touch and sensation. First, I'm going to take this sharp pointed object. As you can maybe see, it is sharp enough that it's going to feel a little pointed and sharp on your skin. It is not sharp enough to puncture your skin. It shouldn't hurt, okay? I'm very careful with how I apply it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gently poke, poke, poke you in a few different places. I just need you to confirm that you can feel it each time, or let me know if you can't, okay? okay. So once again, it's going to feel a tiny bit sharp, but not in a painful way, I promise, okay? So, each time, please just say yes, or give me a thumbs up, or otherwise indicate if you can feel it. If you can't, let me know, okay? Just, just real gently, I'm going to... Okay, again. Good. Okay. Here. On your cheek here, I'm just gonna poke. Good. Other cheek. Poke. Good. Further down on this side. Poke. Okay. Other side. Poke. Okay. Get your chin now. I'm just gonna poke. Good. Upper lip. Poke. Good. So you know, it's real gently. Good. I'm going to do a few along your jawline. First on this side. Bonk. 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 Good. Same thing. Other side. I'm just going to... One. Bonk. Two. Bonk. Three. This next test is going to be very similar with a slightly different tool. This. 
It's a very high-tech, medical-grade chopstick. It's dull, so this is going to be testing the sensory receptors that register dull pressure. Once again, I'm going to gently poke and prod a few different spots on your face. And again, just as beautifully as you did last time, I'd like you to indicate if you can feel it. Also, let me know if you can't, okay? So we're going to start with your forehead. Just gonna Draw on this side. Bonk. 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 Good. And other side. Bonk. 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 Good. Okay. You can put that away. And another little diagram of your face. the same, again with different tools. I have cotton swabs in here. This time, I'm going to be taking the soft tip of this cotton swab, just going to be gently brushing it a few spots on your face, same as before. Indicate yes if you can feel it. Also, let me know if you cannot. Okay, so starting your forearm, just going to swipe. Feel it? jawline here, just gonna whoop. Good? Okay. Other side, just a long whoop. Got it? Okay, great. Me. Make a quick note. Also, Almost done with the poking and prodding your face part. Okay, so next we've got a little test with both of the cotton swabs. What I'm going to be doing this time is, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and I'm going to touch your face with either one or two cotton swabs, okay? Just let me know if you feel one or two. It's very normal that some people will not be sure, especially if they're very close together. So don't worry, it's kind of a spectrum of sensation. It's not a pass-fail thing, just getting an idea of how acute your sensation is, okay? Alright, let's go ahead and close your eyes. I'm gonna let you know when I'm touching you, okay? And you can just say one or two, okay? Alright, so, again, with your eyes closed, I'm just gonna go. 
One or two. Okay. Again. Touch. One or two. Okay. So, go here on your cheek and touch. One or two. Okay. Again. Touch. One or two. Beautiful. Get your other cheek here on the right. Touch. One or two. Good. Okay. Again on this cheek. Keep your eyes closed. Touch. One or two. Good. Look at your chin. Keep your eyes closed. Touch. So one or two. Okay. And touch. One or two. Beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna set these aside and take a few notes. Go ahead and clip my snow and chart here. My clipboard. Keep it steady. Okay. We're going to be doing some vision tests now. First, I'm going to adjust this. There we go. Okay. So this is a snow and chart. I'm sure you've seen it before. In just a moment, I'm going to be holding it up. I'm going to be taking my trusty chopstick again. I'm going to be indicating which letter I want you to read for me. It's very common, again, that not everyone will be able to read all the way down. Vision is a spectrum. So once I hold this up, just do your best. Even if it's blurry, or if you're not sure, what you can do is just give me your best guess, and that'll be fine. Okay. So, you ready? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hold this up for you. Okay. Now, start off with an easy one. What's that? Okay. What's this one? Good. There. Okay. Next line down, can you just go left to right? And this one. Okay, good. Now, can you just look at the smallest letters that you can still read reasonably clearly and read them out to me? Okay. Beautiful. Let me do Note that down. I'm going to ask you to close your left eye, please. Good. Keep that eye closed. And once again, can you please tell me what this is? Good. How about this one down here? Okay. And this one? Good. Again, can you go down to the smallest row of letters that you can clearly read? Read them off for me. Good. Okay. Go ahead and open both eyes. Blink a few times. Good. Okay. Close your right eye for me. We're going to go through this one more time. Okay. Keep that eye closed. And now, with only your left eye open, can you please tell me what this is? Okay, this, this, can you tell me what this is down here? How about this one? This one? Good. Alright, that's it for that part of the test. Okay, so we're done with that chart. But we are not done with your eyes. I'm going to be taking this light right here. I'm going to be shining it into your eyes, giving you some instructions, okay? If you want to take a few moments to blink your eyes, kind of look around, warm your eyes up. Okay. So, to 
to begin with, I'm going to take the light. I'm going to get real close to your face. And I'm just going to be shining the light into your eyes. Just kind of examining the overall look of your eyes. Do your best to keep your eyes open, but blink if you have to. Okay, I'm just going to get them real close. And go left eye. Examining the size of people. you look up for me? Good. Look down, please. Good. Look left. And right. Good. Okay. Blink a couple times, please. Same thing. Other eye. Can get right in there. Look straight ahead, please. up again. Now I'm going to be very carefully examining the function of your pupils in a few different ways on both sides. To begin with, I'm once again going to ask you to stare straight ahead. I'm going to shine the light in your eye in a moment. Just checking each eye to make sure your pupils are responding appropriately to the light. Look straight ahead, please. I'm going to bring this up real close. Okay, blink if you need to, and then look straight ahead again, I'm gonna bring it up, up, good, okay, quick note, alright, very similar, look straight ahead if you can, good, straight ahead, I'm gonna be doing the same thing, but something called consensual response this time. So, looking straight ahead, I'm going to shine this in your left eye and just check the response of your right pupil. Go ahead, blink if you need to. Okay. So I'm going to shine it in your right eye, check your left pupil. Go ahead. Perfect. Exactly what I want to see. Okay, we can put light aside here. Get my trusty chopstick once again. Okay, so this time I'd like you to look right here, just at the tip of it. Right here. Good. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving it out and in and out and in. I want you to keep your eyes, your gaze fixed on the tip there, okay? So looking right here. Good, just like that. Bring it in, keep looking at it. Good, follow it, follow it, follow it. Good, back in, keep your eyes fixed. Tip, out. Good. Okay, you can rest your eyes. Okay, quick motility and alignment check. Once again with our friend, the chopstick. I'm going to be moving it around. Again, I'm going to be asking you to keep your gaze fixed on the tip there. Can move it around, just make sure that your eyes are moving the way they should. Okay? Great. So, you ready? Let's go ahead and fix your eyes right here on the tip. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Good. Okay. So I'm looking at your left eye to start. Follow it. Good. Beautiful. Okay, keep following. Great. Okay, 
blink if you need to. Need to do it one more time. Just gonna be looking at the other eye this time. Looking at the tip, just like that. Good. Follow it. Good. Yeah, just like that. Beautiful. Okay. Just gonna check something with the periphery of your vision. You can blink if you need to. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you to stare straight, straight ahead. You can fix your eyes on my nose if you like. Okay. I'm going to be taking this in a moment. I'm going to be kind of wiggling it and taking it in and out of your field of vision. Just let me know when you see it. You can say now or hold your hand up and then let me know again once it leaves your field of vision. Okay? Okay. So, looking straight ahead at my nose. Let me know when you can see it. Good. Let me know when it disappears. Good. More of the same, looking right here. Let me know when you can see it. Good. Let me know when it disappears. Beautiful. Looking right here. Good. Let me know when it disappears. Beautiful. Let me know when you can see it. Let me know when it disappears. Beautiful. Okay. I think we're all done with your eyes. Thank you so much for your patience. You're doing great. So, I'm just going to do a few things with your ears, and then we'll be all done, and we can send you on your way, okay? All right. So, I'm going to begin by doing a careful exam of your ears. I'm going to take this otoscope. I'm going to gently place it in your ear, first on the left, then I'll go around to the right, I'm going to take a look around at the ear canal itself, the bandic membrane, your eardrum. Just make sure everything looks good and healthy, okay? Um, before I get started, your, the nurse would have this in her notes, but I just want to double check. Do you have a history of ear infection, scarring on the tympanic membrane, anything like that you know about? Okay, alright. Well, let's go ahead and start over here. All right, so I'm going to get in real close here. I'll try not to breathe on your neck. But you're going to feel the tip of the otoscope entering your ear canal right here. Really?
everything. Okay, I've gotten a real good look. I'm gonna remove the otoscope. Good. Right, other side. Once again, placing the tip of the otoscope of the otoscope in your ear. Go ahead and remove the otoscope. Lovely. I'm gonna put this away and I bet you can guess what's gonna happen next. I'm gonna take a few notes. Left ear. For the final part of your exam today, I'm going to be taking some headphones. I'm going to place them over your ears and we'll do two tests. In the first one, you're going to hear a series of tones in each ear. I just need you to indicate when you hear them and on which side. You can say left if you hear it on the left, right if you hear it on the right. If you prefer, you can just raise your hand on whichever side you hear it. And then the last part is going to be another hearing test, but this time you're going to hear softly spoken words at different volumes in each ear. All I need you to do is repeat what you hear. Some of them might be quite soft, so if you're not sure, just give me your best guess of what you hear, and that will be plenty of information for me, okay? Alright, so let me grab my headphones here. I've got these very snazzy red headphones. I'm gonna go ahead and place them over your ears here. All right, does this feel okay? Great, let me grab my list here. Okay, so once again, in just a moment, I'm gonna press a button you're going to start hearing some tones, different pitch, different volume. All I need you to do is indicate by saying left or right or by raising your hand which side you hear it on when you hear it. Okay? Alright. So, let's go ahead and get started.
program. Okay. So, very similar test, except this time you're going to be hearing softly spoken words in either of your ears. You don't have to indicate which side this time. Just go ahead and let me know what word you hear, okay? And again, if you're not sure, just give me your best guess, and that's good information for me too, okay? Okay, just a moment. You can go ahead and take these off. Let me get that. Okay. So, that's all we need for today. This is not the last you're going to be seeing of me. I'm going to be personally directing all your care from this point out. Uh, as I told you, I'm going to go over all my notes here today with my nurse. We're going to discuss the intake forms that she got from you earlier, all of the details. We're going to be very thorough. We'll meet with our medical care team later, make sure you're assigned to the best possible um, specialists for all your needs, all your issues, and our concierge will be in touch to coordinate those appointments. Okay? Alright. So, I'm grab all my notes here. I'm gonna head back to my office. Uh, as soon as you're ready, you can go ahead and get dressed. Uh, place your gown right over there. You can see yourself out. Um, you don't have to check in at the desk or anything on your way out. We'll be in touch, okay? All right. We are gonna get you fully taken care of, I promise. Okay? Yep, we're on it. Okay, so we'll be in touch and I look forward getting in touch with you soon and figuring out everything we need to figure out. Alright. Talk to you soon.